All right, a little video for you about uh, WCW and kind of when I knew that WCW was going to be in trouble in 1996. So in 96, that was my, my biggest year ever as a pro wrestling fan. I think I recorded something like 250 tapes. I watched Nitro every week. I watched Raw every week. I recorded all kinds of VHS tapes, like 250 tapes that year. I ordered every WCW and WWF pay-per-view. I was there every Monday night. It was, it was a lock. I needed to be there on Monday nights in 96. Where I knew WCW was in trouble was in early 96, I was watching Raw. All of a sudden I seen a vignette come up for Mankind and I went, holy crap, WWF's gonna get Cactus Jack. And I went, wasn't he in WCW? And then I seen that uh, they already had Stone Cold Steve Austin in as the ringmaster. I went, oh crap. He was uh, he was already in WCW as Sonny Steve Austin. And I went, oh man, Vince is getting all the WCW guys and he's bringing them over to his ship. And then I seen uh, uh, Triple H was already on the show and I went, oh crap. He was John Paul Levesque in WCW. And I knew The Undertaker had been in WCW and he was already there. And so I went, holy crap, this has four WCW megastars, Stone Cold, Undertaker, Foley, and who's the other one? I forget, but the point being on all that, I knew, I actually, in 96, I actually charted all the guys who, uh, I took a piece of paper and a pencil, and I charted all the guys that were in WCW, and now were in WWF at the time, and I'm like, wow, these guys are big stars. Vince is getting smart. He's going after all of WCW's talent and signing them. And that's where WCW went down, is getting Foley, Stone Cold, Triple H, The Undertaker. All those guys were in WCW. And Vince was getting them all. They didn't want to be in WCW anymore. And uh, yeah, um, Vince signed them. And that was the turning point for me in 96. I went, I went, you watch. Vince is going to make all these guys stars. And WCW on the other hand took all the WWF's older stars like Nash and Hall and Hogan and it worked for a while, like a year, two years, but long term Vince, Vince uh, signing all the, the old WCW guys over to WWF in like the mid 90s was a genius move and it worked, you know, it, it totally worked. So that was the turning point for me in 96 when Vince signed uh, Mankind, and I knew that he was Cactus Jack in WCW. That was truly the turning point. Already having Stone Cold Steve Austin as the ringmaster in, out in Triple H, Undertaker, who worked in WCW. It was a, just a, Undertaker had been there for six years, but it was just a genius move to go get the WCW guys. And he made them all worldwide famous stars. So that was kind of the turning point. You guys have a good day.